Links are in the description. Let's get it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. It ain't like we coming out. People that know us will tell you, like, them dudes are some of the coolest dudes moving across the face of the earth. Right. You know, we come in, we got drinks for everybody. You know, you come in with your man, them, they family. We all family. What now, if, if, if I'm out with Maya and trying to show Maya a good time and some uh, just off-brand dude come by and grab my ass and say, yo, bitch, what up? <laughs> we going to mop the flow <laughs> with his ass. That's why I fuck it, with it's, it's called respect. <laughs> That's the relationship with um Jeezy. Because they've always who, said. Uh, who? Who? Oh, part of me. He's not talking about. Who? So the Young dope Jeezy. boy is not going crazy in you Atlanta? Talking about G, the, uh, you talking about Jeezy from, from the Bay? Oh, John Jeezy from Atlanta? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you talking about Jay Jenkins, Young Jeezy? I, if that's what you call him. Yeah, it's a lot of Jeezys, man. But, um. So. I, I is, he a, like, is he really, like, well-respected in the streets and stuff out there? Yeah. Yeah? The whole homo community love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing no games with you. I don't. Because, you know, when the movement started. He's one of the faces of it. Right. And then, you know, when everything went down, you know, if he, it Shit. seemed like he's separated. I don't I mean, know. Look, I mean. You, Whatever you want to clear up, you could clear up. I, I'm going to tell, tell, tell you like this. I, I like the man music because I always did. That's why I fucked yeah. with him from Jump Street. I'm not no hater. But, but if you and your homeboys is walking through the mall and, the, and it's three of y'all and then 15 guys come and say, we finna beat y'all ass. And the nigga that run, that was Jeezy. He was the oh. nigga that ran. Damn. So in other words, when it, when shit start hitting the fan and, you know, everybody want to be, you know, industry and all that shit, then, you know, that's what niggas do. Niggas throw the name away. Like, well, who? I don't got nothing to do with that. I wouldn't do nothing. Mm. You know, man, it is what it is. You, you know thought he saying? abandoned the name when he got hot? I mean, look, what, right. what, what's understood don't even got to be talked about. Understood. Mm. Everybody know, man. It ain't no secret. But see, the whole thing about that situation is people love Jeezy's music. Yeah. But I would never tell nobody, yo, don't like this person's music. Because I like the nigga music. I was just listening to the one song. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I was just listening to the fucking song. I just listened to the song. So it ain't like I'm hating on the nigga music. But at the end of the day, dog, I fuck with real niggas. Real niggas is a part of my team. You know what I mean? They need to free Big Meech because it's our circumstantial evidence. And the next thing is this. Everybody was down and everything was cool with BMF before they got busted. Everybody wants to be down with the play until they got busted. And then when it went sour, then nobody want to fly the flag no more. Am I lying or telling the truth? I think it's because they ain't want to go to jail, though. Yeah, but they, but they was down when, it was, when, the, when the party was going on and everybody was throwing money in the club. Everybody was still down. So you got to be down in the good time and the bad time. When I went to prison, one stayed down with me in the bad time. So when your partner go to prison, you got to stay down in the bad time and the good time. If you was black mafia family in the street, when they was spending all that money in the strip club, you need to be black mafia family right now when everybody getting indicted. And let me say it again. If I was going to diss somebody, I'm going to say their name to their face and a fight go with that. So now, I ain't diss Young Jeezy because Young Jeezy ain't the only one spending fake dope prices. I'm dissing everybody lying about selling drugs. It ain't such a natural. truth. All right, so what do you, by, all right, by you saying that, what do you think needs to be done? This is what I think needs to be done, man. Come on, man. At the end of these records we listen to, we don't get nothing out of them no more, man. We don't get no social commentary. We ain't get no kind of knowledge out these records. Everybody just talking about how many chains they got on and how much dope they sold. But the truth of the matter is this, I don't believe you. Because I know you do, and I know you didn't sell no dope. And the, and the next thing is this. Say, man, I'm from Texas, man. I'm from the game. Them prices that them boys talking about, man, them boys ain't got no prices like that, no Atlanta. And if you do, right now, why ain't some with where my people at, we'll buy it and flush it down the toilet. We don't support drugs. But show it to me, man, because I know where it on backpacks. I know where they passed they rolled up in Timberland boots in 1998, and they acting like they some big time drugs.
drug dealer. Okay? Okay. So right now, this is what I'm telling you. Y'all want to get mad? Get mad at the pimp. Don't get mad at the bun and don't put the UCK on. Get mad at the pimp. This is my opinion. This is me. I'm talking. I'm a man. And I stand up. And, and let me say this while I'm at All them people that was talking about they want to kill 50 cents, want to do all that to this man. Hey, man, when somebody really wants something to happen to you, it's going to happen to you whether you want it to or not. And I just saw 50 Cent walk off the stage at the BT Awards with no bodyguards right in front of all them dudes that were talking about they was going to slap him when they saw him. And I ain't seen nothing happen to him. So basically you just calling the game real fake and you saying that the music need to go back to some real lyrics. And, and this is the next thing, man. Anytime an artist in Atlanta makes punk music and get on a record, they need to shout out to 3-6 Mafia because y'all know that's where that music started at, man. But and y'all know for a fact that UCK started the word trio. Y'all know this, man. Y'all know we started this here. Everybody in Atlanta feels like you, you diss them. They feel yeah, like this but if because... they would read between the lines and hear what I'm telling them, I ain't dissing them. We got to check ourselves before somebody else check us. Because this would have heard a whole lot more coming from somebody on the East Coast or from the West Coast than coming from one of our four folks. Power 105, one is the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest on the line. You, you, you. Mr. Blue Da Vinci, what up, Blue? Blue, what up? What's, what's good, baby? What's going on? Hey, man, you know, I'm just out here working, man, trying to thug it out the best way I can, you know? Now, Blue Da Vinci, I know you were, um, you were away for a minute, and now you're back. What what exactly were you charged with? Uh, conspiracy with intent to okay. distribute. And that was with the whole entire BMF bust, right, where a lot of people ended up going to prison? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> and and you and you're raising a lot of hell right now because you know you, you you recently just said that Young Jeezy's fan base is, is all homos. You said the homo community loves Young Jeezy. Yeah, they they love him. <laughs> but it I thought I thought is, Young you know? Jeezy was part of the whole BMF movement. I mean, he was, but it all used to be. So what's the issue now, Blue? Like why? What, what, what? The issue now, the issue now, the man running around, man using Meach's name, like you know, it's like that, and and that it, that little thing that Meach did on the tape for him, that he keep playing on repeat, was from 2009. He ain't doing what he's supposed to do. He know what time it is. Now we had Jeezy up here a couple months ago. Jeezy said him and Meach are still cool. So he talks to Meach, and Meach talks to him about what's going on in the club scene, what's going on in the streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what about what about this appealist lawyer? Yeah, he ain't, he ain't doing what he's supposed to do, man. Period. At the end of the day, you know, if you can get me on the phone right now, it'd be a different tune that he's singing. So what you're saying is that Jeezy has not put up the money for the appeal for Big Meach. Exactly. I mean, he won't do nothing. Period. You know, at the end of the day, man. Like I just talked to I just talked to the big homie recently and, and and he's like man it's crazy that you know the, the the part of the fam the rapper that was connected with the fam that ended up having you know much success you know that that's that, you know he doing his thing and, and he's really in a position to make a difference in, in meets life right now he ain't really stepping up to the plate right now and it's crazy i gotta come home rebuild this this bmf brand from from ground zero and do it all on my own you know when I got when we, when we got somebody that's still running around saying that you know he loved man and you know he got him a hundred percent and all that, it, it, it's easy for him to just step up and say you know what, huh? Let me cut this check, man, and make sure dude all right. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, the selfishness you know sticks in the Hollywood and the lights and the cameras. You know it just blurs people's vision sometimes. You know. Has anybody had a conversation with Jeezy? Have any of y'all you know ever stepped to him? Hey look, hey look, man. I hit, I hit. You know, I came home. I tracked his number down, I called him. I'm like, what up, this blue? He like, blue who? I say, man, this blue Da Vinci. He say, oh, what's up? I said, man, what's going on, man? Let's sit down, man, so we can chop it up and figure out the, the move, man, with the players. All right, let me hit you right back. So, you know, two days passed. My people from, from Detroit hit me like, man, a man got a show at the Fox Theater calling so we can get some tickets to come. I said, all right, let me call him. I called his phone, the number was changed. I said, man, I said, what part of the game is this? This must be overtime right here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, that, that's how all the phone kind of started. And, you know, from then on, I just knew what it was, you know? So it is what it is. 
You know, I, I got to continue to to smash, man, and and do what I got to do because at the end of the day, for real, for real, I got me to my best interest. You know what I'm saying? So I got to do what I can't sit around and wait for no suckers to 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 to, to keep faking and putting on like they really with it when they ain't. You know what I'm saying? But is is Jeezy really speaking to Big Meech regularly? To my knowledge, no. When the last time you spoke to Meech? Last night. So as of last night, this is an issue. Meech has an issue with Young G's. It, it, it's definitely an issue. You know what I'm saying? But see, it's like this. At the end of the day, we all we all love Jeezy, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't going to say I hate the man or nothing like that. But my whole thing is, man, just keep it honest, man. Keep it real. If, if, if the people on your back and if you can't do nothing or, you know, you set something up or they, or they said, you know what, you know, for us to, to leave you alone, you, you can't really help that situation. Then just let it be known. Don't keep running around putting on, like, you know, to the people that you really doing something and you ain't. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a serious situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, Meech really got some action at, at getting back on the streets right now with this appeal. That, you know, he got a bunch of situations in his case that... You know, could could overturn or, 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 or cut his time down from some technicalities that was going on throughout his ordeal. You know what I'm saying? And, and it don't take that much. It ain't like it cost three hundred thousand dollars to, you know, to, to put the, to put it back together and you know and get this situation back to the Supreme Court. You know what I'm saying? So the whole thing is, I know people be busy and people got stuff to do, but it don't take you know, dude. He 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 on the. Uh, on, on the internet talking about, you know, he finna send the lawyer to, to Boosie. No disrespect to Boosie, you know what I'm saying? Because we all got love for Boosie and everything. But, you know, you, you, you run around claiming this man name all, all the time in the street. Everywhere you go, you use his name for your street credibility. But at the end of the day, I'm on my way to the, to the, to the, to the, uh, Wells Fargo Bank. Like, what, 45 minutes after I get off this phone and sit down with my advisor to go send some money to, to the, to the attorney. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, also, yeah, let me yeah. ask you a question. There's, there's going to be a million and one people we're talking to Blue Da Vinci that I say Blue is just doing this to, 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 to get some kind of, to get the press behind him. Now, now, how come, because the first thing they're going to say is how come you and Jeezy didn't have this conversation together opposed to putting it on air? Yeah, I tried. You know what I'm saying? I can't keep running around and chasing nobody. You know, at the end of the day, man, I'm working on the Da Vinci Code, man. You know, the drama, drama's, you know, jumping behind me, you know, for this Gangsta Grill tape. Superstar J, me and Superstar J putting the tape together right now. I got all the rappers in the game that's worth something, man. You know, jumping behind me, throwing me records. But, you know, to handle this real business, he don't even want to sit down and talk to me about dude business. It ain't, I, ain't, I ain't telling him, look, man, come, you know, come do a record with me. Don't walk me in the label or something. I ain't asking you nothing like that. I can do all that on my own. That ain't no problem. But, you know, my whole thing with him is Meech. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is I'm saying, look, man, and, and he probably listening. I got somebody listening. Look, step up to the plate, man, and do what you're supposed to be doing well, at Blue, the end of the day. Well, Blue, if what you're saying is true, you think maybe Jeezy might just be, uh, might have just distanced himself because of all the heat that was on BMF? Like maybe let me, get, let, let me lay low yeah. for a second so I can avoid getting yeah. a conspiracy charge or something. I mean that's what that's what scary people do. You know it's all good when when when, when you're out popping bottles and riding Ferraris that you ain't bought and, and Porsche trucks that you ain't bought. You know and running through the streets and, and yelling out the the, the the three letters and and you know dealing with people in the street. But it's a different story when it get hard. Everybody ain't can't can't weather the storm. You know what I'm saying?